Well, just glancing at the way these guys are dressed, I'd almost wonder if they're going ice fishing, but I know better than that. <laughs> it looks it cold. Looks cold. It I does look cold. I don't think they've walked a long ways with that, those, no, all those clothes no. on. No. But it looks like a fabulous setup right there next to the river bottom. Yeah, this is one of Mark's favorite spots in Montana. Oh, okay. I'm guessing the peak of the rut for the whitetails here is yeah, Thanksgiving, maybe even a little bit before. So this is probably on the downside of the rut. If Tail end of it. Rut. Yep. 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 Well, he's going to rattle. One of the things you there. want to do when you rattle is to set up where you can see a deer approach. Because so very often they'll come in, and when they do, they come in to move downwind of you so they can catch your scent. <laughs> now, this is trademark Mark Kaiser. He don't tickle the horns together. He, he sets up a deer fight. He just did something very important here. Rattled, jumped down on his gun, anticipating you know movement coming in. He, he is ready, and that's what it takes. Because a lot of times those deer will come in very, very quick, and you've got a very little time to really evaluate right. that deer according to what he is in terms of antlers and even in terms of age. Everything's ready for when that deer comes in. And that's it. When This is the shot you normally get when you're talking about rattling. Straight Good. on, yep. the deer's got you pinpointed. What do you do? Now, do you take the shot with this angle? I mean, as you said, that's how they come in. Now, how many times have you seen spin around and take off from this angle? More times than I wanted yeah. to. <laughs> The angle doesn't bother me. I don't mind taking the shot. And I can leave a lot of blood trail, but hopefully it'll just, you do hit him and go straight down. Is he a good enough deer to shoot? Is he old enough to shoot? He is in my book. I, you know, you've seen a lot more than I have, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that shot, and I'm going to take that angle uh, and shoot him right above that dark spot. 100 yards away, I'm on sticks. I like the deer. I didn't get to see a lot of the deer in profile. I mean and you wouldn't in this situation. The other thing you gotta factor in, because I've been in this situation, <laughs> you get caught up in the moment. You get you caught up in Absolutely. the excitement. It's infectious. I don't like the angle for the shot as much as I wanna say, no, I'd wait and let him go and, and get a broadside shot. If I was there, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd be shooting. <laughs> so Larry, what are you, Larry, what are you looking at when you say he's a three-year-old from that um, angle? I'm looking at his, his neck's not very, wide beyond mm -hmm. the point of his jaw. The other thing is his face is relatively tight. He looks like he's got straight lines on the top and the bottom just as you're looking at him down this way. So right. to me, he's a relatively young deer. He's got a decent amount of spread. He's probably 15 and a half, 16 inches ear tip to ear tip and they're erect. So he's probably about a 17, 18 inch type eight point. But to me, personally, I like to hunt mature deer and I like to shoot mature deer and I might get caught up in the moment of right. it, but I would probably pass this deer just simply because if I knew that was the best kind of deer I could mm -hmm. shoot in that area, definitely shoot. shoot. But I suspect it being Montana, late season, there may be some bigger bucks out there. Oh, oh that hurt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he took, he Absolutely took that perfect. Shot. The fact is he did rattle that buck up and a lot of people don't have that opportunity. So, you know, if you rattle one up and he pleases you, take him. I don't care whether it's a whitetail coming to horns, an elk coming to your bugle, a turkey coming to your call, or ducks coming right. into the decoys when you're calling. There's such a sense of accomplishment there that what I did brought this animal in. Right. That's right.